And he does with a body shot off the left. Ambo loads up the right, turning left hook. Manny responds. Manny's starting to walk him down a little now. Digs in the left hand. Manny, counter lead by Ambo. Smiles at him. Says, come on, Manny. Bring it on. And an overhand left. An overhand left from Ambo. Here comes Ambo. Manny against the ropes. This place goes bananas. Look here, Ambo lands on Manny Pacquiao. And Manny brings the gloves up. Ambo's testosterone flowing, adrenaline coursing through the veins. Pacquiao woke him up, woke him up, and this is the Ambo that I thought we were going to get for three rounds. We're getting in the last one. These guys, they know they can last three rounds. This is what they do. They're professionals. Kickboxers, boxers, three-minute rounds. They love it. Three of them, no problem. Nice right hand down the pipe by Ampo. Pacquiao claiming the elbow there. A couple of low blows in the last round. Elbow this time. Not happy about it. I think he ducked under the right hand, so probably caught the elbow as it was going through, but great round so far. Loads up on the left hand is Pacquiao. Big body shot from Ampo. A wild hook from the Japanese kickboxing world champion. Gets on the inside of the right hand. Jabs from Ampo again. Body shot from Ampo. Backs off Nerdy. Ambo right hand starched him. The right hand starched him. He caught him between the eyes. Then he takes a deep breath and comes forward. Under a minute to go. Uppercut from Manny. Ambo backs him off again with the right hand. Manny the chair. Ambo giving it his all. Ambo's got a chin on him, that's for sure. I mean, Pacquiao typically fighting a little lower than this, but... Ampo has in the past shown that he's got a hell of a chin. So he cut from oh, Manny. Massive a uppercut. Huge uppercut. The chin through the top of the head. Final 25 seconds. Here comes Manny. The combinations now. Ampo goes the liver. Manny with a hook. Oh. Inside the phone booth momentarily. Manny goes body and head. Ampo responds. Body from Ampo. They're looping punches. Uppercut oh. staggers him. Lovely uppercut from Manny. And Manny smiles. Says you want to throw down, I'll throw down Ampo. I'll throw down Ampo. And what a Filipino fans watching live on Tap Sports in the Philippines. Comestas Kababayan. Hope you're enjoying Super Ryzen 3 live from Saitama, Japan. Jab from Ampo. Nice release on that jab. The long arms. Telescopic for the K1 world champion. It's also worth noting that for Pacquiao, as I say that he's struggling to get his feet going, is the Ryzen ring has a softer canvas than what he's probably used to. So in boxing, not so much soft, some of them, but because of the MMA, this is not just a canvas on a timber floor. This has got a soft cushioning under it, and that would definitely affect the way that he's able to move his feet tonight. Ampo lands the right hand again. Many trips away from it. Chad from Pacquiao trying to set the left hand. Little bolo punch on the inside from Manny. Ampo trying to stamp his authority on center ring, keep pressing Manny to the outside. Double jab again from the kickboxing world champion. Right hand lead there from Ampo. Many edges forward, having a lot of trouble with the reach here of Ampo. Right hand from Ampo through the guard, then drops the lead hand to the body of Manny. Ampo lights on the balls of his feet. Manny more flat footer to the two. Pacquiao, lovely lead hand, curled it to the orbital. Ampo dances out of the way of trouble, uppercut on the inside from the Japanese. Tried to sit down on that right hand. Combination from Pacquiao. Good turning left hook there from Rukia Ampo. Ampo goes upstairs with the left, drops the right to the bread basket. There's a liver shot from Rukia Ampo. Changing levels. And Ampo looks like he's enjoying himself here. Yeah, Pacquiao just waving to Ampo there to keep the shots up. For boxing, the low blow is actually from the belt line down, so from the belly button. So Ampo wouldn't be used to that. A low blow in kickboxing is, is actually connecting with the groin, you know, the cup. 
But in this situation, he caught the belt of Pacquiao. Pacquiao's given him a wave up. But nonetheless, this is a great fight so far. 40 seconds remain, second round of three. Chad to right hand, counter lead hand there from Pacquiao. Nice little pirouette from Manny. Evades the left hand as Ampo. Double jab again from Ampo on the front foot, runs into a Manny Pacquiao jab. Pacquiao calls him forward. Those telescopic arms of Rukia Ampo, particularly that jab of the Japanese fighter. Sliding jab. We are going into the third round here. Two solid rounds for Rukia Rampo. Very side on stance here from Rukia Rampo. Pacquiao will look to get on the inside. The beautiful thing about Pacquiao, he moves on the inside with combinations and the body, the head is always moving. Never a stagnant target. Pacquiao moves so well from his waist. The southpaw, Manny Pacquiao. The wide orthodox stance on Rukia Rampo. He launches the javelin down the center corridor early. Got to get the lead foot on the outside of Pacquiao's lead foot. But you know Pacquiao has seen it all before from some of the best boxers in history. What can Ampo offer that is any different here? From Ampo. Ampo is actually boxing sensibly.